Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to analyze Power BI dataset in Excel. That means which is similar to Power Pivot. So in this video, I'm going to discuss step by step what to download, how to connect Power BI dataset with Excel file and how to analyze it. So stay tuned. First of all, you have to go on powerbi.com and then you have to sign in. Before sign in, you have to remember that you should already have account with Microsoft Power BI or if you don't have, then please sign up. After that, just connect to your account. And once you sign in into your account, after that, you have to go to into your data sets and once you are in your data set you will see there are the three dots over there and once you will click on those you will see analyze in excel option but do remember that this option is only gonna work once you have the required driver or add-ins for microsoft excel secondly the microsoft excel should be 2010 or later version and thirdly we have to download that software from here you can see that analyze in excel updates Click on that. Now this pop-up appears, Analyze in Excel updates. And there is the text as well. With Analyze in Excel, use pivot table, chart and slicer features in Excel just like you are used to, all while connected to your data in Power BI. Download the latest update to get started. So click on the download button. And you will notice that there is a, one software has been downloaded over here. Let's see in the folder. So guys, you need to install this into your machine and I have already installed this in my machine. So I'm going to skip this part. Now you have to go back again to your data sets, which you want to analyze into your uh, Excel file. Just click on analyze in Excel and then one dot ODC file is going to download. So basically this is a connector, which is going to connect your Power BI data set to Excel. Once you will double click on this, you will see it's going to open another Excel file and there is one pop-up which is Microsoft Excel security notice. You need to enable it. It would take a couple of seconds. That's it. So now, now guys, you can see that this is Power Pivot table itself, which is a Power Table Analyzer. Here we can analyze our Power BI data set in this Excel file. Now let's try to analyze something. For example, I need to see the gross margin percentage by year. So I'll go down and I'll see year or let's see by states first. So guys, now you can see there are the different states and their gross margin percentages appearing over here. Also, we can do a lot of other things like if I select this one and you can uh, prepare a chart as well for this one. So let's see. So here you can see the chart. So this is a very intuitive way to analyze your Power BI dataset in Excel file. And of course, there are lots of other things you can do over here like slicers and you, know, you can put a slicers and you can analyze the way you want you can add more fields for example if i need to add a slicer by product so just put this in filter pane and here you can see that now all products are selected i can even select the product that i am looking for so it's been sliced by this one so guys, one more important thing over here, whenever you want to refresh the data, so you have to go to this tab over here and you have to refresh it all. This is refresh button is going to work when there's any new changes in the Power BI data set. But do remember one more thing over here. You cannot upload this data back to the Power BI data set while you can share this file with your other colleagues in your organization and they can also perform the same operations over here with this power power bi data set then save this file you can save this file on your desktop analyze in excel 
in Excel demo and you can save it and then you can share this file with uh, your other clicks within your organizations so that they can also have a look this analysis or if they want to do their own analysis they can do the same as well hey guys so i really hope that you like today's video for more videos stay tuned with us and don't forget to subscribe our channel